In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the new uh, Panorama Beta program. Um, if you're running an X10 using 2.1, you can just copy the uh, program onto your phone and install it. Um, but it does work with the Arc and the Play, and it may work with other phones. Uh, so to install it, you're going to need to uh, root your phone and uh, follow the instructions on the rest of this video. I'm just going to uninstall it and then walk you through the process. So to start off, go to the link in the description and download the zip file. Um, if one site doesn't work, again just try another site. Um, there are multiple sites so one of them should still work. And once you've downloaded the zip file, uh, extract it. And I've included all the files you need to root your phone if you're using an X10 or if you're using uh, 2.1 or 2.2 as well as uh, 2.3 for the uh, ARC. If you're using Windows XP I've included this power toy uh, that allows you to open the command prompt in case that uh, it opens and you don't get it in the right path. Uh, so to start off open up the uh, text file. This has all the instructions as well as all the different commands. And then second open up command prompt. Um, in the past, some people have been had an issue because it wouldn't open up in the right folder. So, for example, this is in C Panorama, and if you if you're not in the right folder, you can't run the commands because uh, obviously the files aren't there. So, for example, if it started up in uh, another folder like Windows, and you don't know where to go, the easiest way to do it is to copy the path on the folder and type in CD, which is change directory and paste it in and it should take you to the right folder. If that doesn't work, if you're using Vista or 7, uh, click in an empty place in the folder, hold shift, right click and you should get an open command uh, window here. Clicking that will also open it up in the right location. Um, if you're using XP then you need to install this power toy and then that will give you that command because it's not built in. So, once you've uh, opened this all up, again, if you have an X10 running 2.1, just copy this APK file to your phone and install it, and it should work without any modifications and without needing root. Um, if you have an ARC or you're running another custom ROM, then you're going to need to uh, go through the rest of this video. So to start off, I do have all the uh, warnings and all the instructions again. You have to have PC Companion and Update Service installed on your phone and uh, it must be rooted so watch one of the other rooting videos if you need to either the uh, root video for the ARC or the root video for the X10 and make sure your phone is rooted and everything's working um, so next you're gonna run these commands so the first command copies the file onto the phone so just copy Oops and go into command prompt and either right click and paste or if you have quick edit on then just right click and paste um, I usually turn on quick edit which is in properties and turn on quick edit which allows you to um, just copy and paste quicker if you don't have quick edit on when you right click you're going to get a command and you just have to go paste so properties and quick edit so paste on your phone before you do anything it's plugged in on the phone it's rooted uh, super user if you go into settings applications you must have unknown sources checked and under development you must have USB debugging checked so once you've done that uh, run the first command this copies the file to your phone next line. This copies the second f file to your phone. Uh, these are libraries or dependencies so they add functionality to your phone. Um, this is a pretty low risk um, install because it's not modifying any system files so you should be fine. Uh, but as always, always back up your phone either using X Recovery or Titanium Backup and if anything goes wrong you can use the Flash Tool or PC Companion but um, again you're not modifying any files, you're adding things so um, you, you shouldn't be able to screw up your phone with this. So I've copied both those files. Next you're going to go into shell to run some commands. 
And for this next part, uh, make sure your phone is on and ready to accept commands so it's unlocked. Because when you run the command, you're going to get a super user pop up on your phone and you have to enable it. So I'm just going to unlock. So when you run the SU command on your phone, you're going to get uh, a super user request on here. I've already done it, so I'm just going to remove it and show you it again. So again, I'm just going to redo this. ADB show. When you run the SU command for the first time on your phone, you're going to get this super user request and you have to allow it. Um, you only need to do this once for your phone and uh, after that you won't get that pop-up anymore. So the next command uh, makes, the f makes the phone read and write so you can actually modify things. This next command copies the file from the that you copy to your phone and installs it. So there's the first one. And the second one. And these commands change the permission to make the files accessible. So once you've installed these uh, libraries or dependencies, you need to reboot the phone so that uh, the phone actually picks up and loads them. And I'll be back once the phone uh, reboots. So the phone is finished uh, rebooting. It's still connected. And uh, there's just one last command. And this command installs the actual program onto your phone. copy and just paste. You can also copy the APK file again and just run it directly on the phone but since I'm already at the command prompt uh, running this command is faster. So once you've done that if you go over to your applications you see the panorama is now installed and it should work. There we go. Uh, so that's how you install Panorama Beta. Again, um, this is a low risk uh, application because you're not modifying anything, but uh, make sure you back up your phone as always. And if anything goes wrong, use a PC Companion or a paid service or the flash tool to uh, reflash your phone.